Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. You may have caught it in our last video, but I very subtly mentioned that we are homeschooling this year when I shared the DIY magazine rack and book holder that we made for the wall. You saw a little sneak peek of the room, and if you can't tell behind me, I've got some ABC uh, charts up on the wall and my bookcase is full of a bunch of kids books now. So we have given this home office a little bit of a spruce up and a refresh to turn it into our new homeschooling space. And today we're gonna be sharing the whole thing with you. Uh, so let's go take a look around. So something that I did not share in the video introduction is a lot of things have actually changed in our house over the last few months. Logan went back to work full time. I stepped away from my day job, a 13 year career in commercial real estate, and we decided to homeschool. So you may remember in this office beforehand, we used to have two office, two desk spaces. And so we decided to go down to just one desk space since uh, we're not both working from home full time anymore. And we just share this desk. Usually I'm using it super early in the morning. And then sometimes Logan is working from home and he'll sit at the desk. Next, let's talk about this pegboard wall. You may remember this from our office. Uh, we installed this when we did the office renovation and now the pegboard wall is still incredibly helpful and useful in our homeschool room and I absolutely love it. We made a few changes to the wall and the things that it's holding. We uh, decided to put the kids' laptop bags on there. I've got a little trash can down there. I've got their supplies that they can reach down below. Uh, some little puzzles, some art supplies. I grabbed this uh, pencil sharpener, which I am obsessed with, and it uh, goes on one of the shelves so they can very easily uh, sharpen their pencils. And then we kind of left everything else in place on the pegboard wall. You may recognize this little guy from our most recent YouTube video where we built this uh, magazine rack. I'm actually using it kind of as more of a book holder for the wall. Um, but it could be used for books or magazines. And we have the free woodworking plans for that over on the video or on craigtool.com. I'll be sure to put the link to the video or the plans in the video description. Next, we have our little homeschool cart. Now there are a few supplies that we use basically every day. And so I put all of those on this cool rolling cart that I found on Amazon. I absolutely love it. Uh, maybe I'll go a little more in detail about exactly how we use the cart and what we keep in it in another video, but here's just kind of a quick look at it. We've got all of our art supplies and just kind of like everyday drawing supplies, colored pencils, uh, glue, crayons, pencils, markers uh, in the top, and we can easily just grab those and pull them up to the table. Then I use those stickers on their pages when they're finished. Just keep highlighters, dry erase markers so they're easy to grab. I have a little clipboard there with our daily routine, just kind of the order that we do things and our weekly commitments are down there at the bottom, different classes and practices that we need to attend. Uh, so this is pretty helpful for the kids to just kind of get a look at the day. It's very visual, um, but I don't have times on there because we don't do a strict schedule for our days. Next, I have these awesome hourglass timers that I absolutely love. I got this whole set of them and they're all the way from 30 seconds to 60 minutes and we use them a lot for different things. Most often I use the 20 minute one. I'll be like, we're gonna do work on math for 20 minutes and we set the timer and it's a great visual aid for the kids to know exactly how much time is left to keep them motivated. Then on the next shelf down, we've got some Bluetooth speakers. I use these. Uh, I have one for each of them and I'll throw it in their rooms with some nice music when they're supposed to be kind of doing quiet time during the day or we can play audio books or podcasts or whatever on those. Then I've got boxes for our math curriculum, our math manipulatives. And then on the bottom, I've got some great like games and different things that they can grab, flashcards. Uh, these are great things they can grab when they're supposed to be kind of doing some independent work while I'm working one-on-one -on -one with the other kiddo. So, and I've got everything labeled there. I used our label maker to label as many things as I could throughout the room. I'll be sure to link my label maker. I love it. I grabbed this um, at the start of the school year and the kids have really enjoyed it. It's just a little puzzle, shape puzzle, and there's cards in there. 
it's an easy thing for them to grab and do all by themselves independently while I'm working with the other kiddo. All right, so that is the rolling cart. So next, let's talk about this homeschool table. So this used to be where the other desk was uh, in the office. So we got rid of the other desk, we went down to one, and we put a table here. And what I ended up doing, I didn't have room for a huge table, but I got this kitchen table. It's actually for a kitchen, and it's about 45 inches by 30, and it's perfect um, space for us. We got some nice comfy chair cushions, so it's really comfy. All right, so moving on to the wall over here, we've got our craft roll uh paper hanger on the wall that we still use all the time. I added a bulletin board here for the kids to hang up some of their creations. We've got some memory verses up there. And then that lead shelf used to have this big pretty arch mirror on it. I decided to move that out into the hallway and now we're using that for displaying some books and I love it. It really encourages them to grab them and read them because it's down at their level and the covers are shown which uh, they love to just grab those and look at them by themselves. And then this reading chair I still use every single day. I get in here way early before anybody else is up and I do my devotionals and have some quiet time. So put a little basket with all my supplies next to the chair for that. And then above the closet doors, I added this ABC chart and it's just got everything, um, little pictures for each letter. So it helps with phonics and we refer to it when we're working on handwriting too. And then our bookcase, you may remember, used to be filled with decorative books and decor and it was all pretty. And now it is even prettier because it's been filled with beautiful uh, picture books, chapter books, and all sorts of things. And I'm so excited about it. That top shelf there is full of future chapter books that we're going to read together. We're doing a lot of read aloud time. And then I got two book bins here. These nice sturdy book bins are from Walmart. And I labeled each of them and I put their each uh, kiddo's curriculum in there so it's easy just to grab the books out as we go throughout our day. And then on the bottom shelf, we have all of our extra workbooks, some extra curriculum and supplies, and then we have picture books. And I just made little dividers uh, for them with a piece of cardstock and some Sharpie. And I just have out the fall and winter Christmas seasonal books and I have the rest packed away in the garage. On the bottom shelf are drawers there. You can see I've got some extra school supplies in one drawer, paper files in the other. It made sense to buy a lot of this stuff in bulk at the start of the school year when the back to school prices were going on. So I snagged it all, but I'm keeping some of it kind of tucked away so that we can replenish as we go through our year. And now, then on the top of the bookcase, we've got our marble jar. This is our reward system. So every time the kiddos finish a lesson or read a story, we get a marble. And if they're good, they get more marbles. And if they're bad, they lose some marbles. And then uh, once we fill that up, we will decide on a fun reward to celebrate filling up our marble jar. So the basket there in the middle is our morning basket and I can go more in detail about exactly what that is in a future video if you want. But let's take a look at the uh, closet. So I have lots of other supplies in here that are kind of tucked away and hidden. This is a clothing closet because this was a bedroom originally when we bought this house. So there's no shelving. So what I did for just some affordable cheap shelving is I got those cube storage bins from Walmart. They're about 50 bucks each and we're using that to store a lot of our art supplies. So in those drawers here, I have all of our paper scraps, um, lots of colored paper, just things that we can use for craft projects. The kids love going in here and just grabbing stuff themselves, which I like. And we've got it all organized by color, so it's easy for them to find what they're looking for. And then I've got one more paper drawer storage, and I labeled these ones. I've got monthly samples of things that I need to keep for our charter up at the top. Uh, lined paper in the middle and then scrap paper on the bottom that has been used on one side but we use the other side too and then I've got tons of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper here um, for just more crafting projects I've got a little bin of all their paint supplies so we usually do painting out in the kitchen so I usually grab that when we're going to do painting and it's easy to grab and then I've got all of their uh, rest of their craft supplies kind of organized in little bins here we've got lots of paper bags and stickers and all sorts of fun stuff for them to grab and use themselves and then the rest of it is pretty much more uh, adult type uh, craft supplies or things that I don't want them to have access to independently that I kind of want to help them with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look kind of behind the scenes of the uh, homeschool room in our house. We have been homeschooling for just over a month now and uh, definitely learning a lot. We're kind of figuring out as we go. We have a great charter that we're working with 
Um, so we're getting some assistance that way, which means that the kids go to school one day a week um, in person with some other kiddos, which is a great solution for us so that I can work on stuff uh, one day. And then I'm also working like really early in the mornings. Uh, but we're definitely just figuring out as we go. So if you, if there's any homeschooling parents out there, I'd love to hear any tips and tricks you have. Send them my way. And then anything we learn on, along the way, we'll probably be sharing in future videos or over on our website, makingmansnita.com. We've definitely had some really good days and some really hard days since we started. So I'm sure we will continue to learn the rest of the year as we all figure this out. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about what we're doing or the homeschool room or anything else you saw in today's video, just let me know in the comments. And then everything that I have links for, uh, I am putting in the video description. So if you have a question about paint colors or uh, the bookcase or whatever you saw in the video, be sure to hop on over to the video description and grab a link for that. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good day.